All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at decimal place value, in particular, tenths and hundredths. I always find that it's helpful when I'm thinking about place value to relate back to money. So let's say that we had an account that had some money in it. And let's say that was $328.56, right? So this is the money in our account. And there are five digits in this number, uh, the three, the two, the eight, the five, and the six. But some of these digits are more important to me if I'm concerned about my money than other digits. For example, this three out in front here, it's pretty important to me, uh, it being the first number. Now, that three, if I were to go there and ask for a withdrawal of all of my money, that three is important because that bank teller would give me three hundred dollar bills, right? So I would get $300 bills and I would get two tens, which would give me another $20. And then that teller could give me eight $1 bills and maybe five dimes, 50 cents, and then six pennies. And between all of these numbers, I would have my $300. $28.56. So some of these digits were more important to me than other ones. So each one has a place value. Now just going from left to right, the three out here, that told me how many hundreds I have. So that place value is hundreds. And the two right beside of it, that told me how many tens I got. So that place value is tens. The eight told me how many ones. And then on the right hand side, our decimals there, that's our change. So the five dimes, a dime is worth a tenth of a dollar. So those are tenths. Notice the THS, not to be confused with the tens. And then the last one out here six uh, those are pennies so that would be each penny is worth a hundredth of a dollar so those would be hundredths and again the ths on everything to the right hand side of this uh, decimal place is very important so those are our place values if we were asked a question given a number to find a place value in this question give the digits in the ones place and the tens place. So we're actually being asked two questions. The ones place is you know, how many ones would be in that, in that number. So our number here of 62.41 has a two in the ones place. That's how many $1 bills I would get. And then in the tenths place, that would be our four right beside of it. That tells me how many dimes I would get because a dime is a tenth of a dollar. So I have a four in the tens in the tenths place and a two in the ones place.